Hello learners, this is Jyoti Manral from Uttarakhand Open University. I am an assistant professor in Department of Management Studies. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the nature and scope of HRM. So the content for this lecture are, first we will start with the introduction, after that nature of HRM, then scope of HRM, then importance of HRM and at last objectives of HRM. Now see, among the various factors of production, land, labor, capital and entrepreneurship which are used in an organization, human resource is the most important. So as we all know that there are four factors of production. The first one is land, then labor, capital and entrepreneurship. So among all these four factors, the most important one that is human resource. Human resource means labor. If the willpower and skills of employee are properly applied, wonderful things can happen. So it is saying that if we will uh, utilize the capacity of our human resource properly, then the organization can do wonders. Human resources can help in transforming the loss-making organization into profit-making organization. To e extract the best out of the people, therefore, the organization must provide a healthy work climate where they can exploit best from their employees so that the goal of organization can achieved effectively and efficiently. So it is saying that if the organization wants to achieve its organizational goal, so they must provide a healthy working environment to the human resource of their organization and they can exploit best from their employees. Now let's start with the introduction. So human resource management is a process of bringing people and organization together so that the goal of each are met. So as we all know that organization has a goal. Similarly, the individuals means the employees working in the organization. They also have a goal. Like for example, in an organization, the organization may have a goal to maximize the sale, to increase the revenue and on the other hand, the individuals can have a goal to maximize the incentives to get remuneration. So it is saying that if the organizational goals will be achieved, like for example, if the organization goal is to increase the sales by 10% and if organization is able to do that then automatically if the sales is increasing by 10% the organization will share this uh, increased sale or their profit with their employees also. So you can see that if the organizational goals are achieved, then automatically the individual goals means the goals of the employees are met. So human resource is the process which is bringing both the people and the organization together. Human resource management deals with the best quality and required quantity of workforce. So here you can see best quality. Best quality means a person who is expert in doing that particular job is assigned that job and required quantity means if there, if for a particular job 10 employees are required so the HRM will make sure that they will assign 10 employees only. In case if less than 10 employees are assigned then the employees will be overburdened and in case if we are employing more than 10 employees the we can see that for a particular job which requires 10 employees and we are employing 15 employees so it, it is clearly showing that we are not utilizing our resources efficiently we have given more employees for that particular job now thus we can say that human resource management is a combination of three words the first word that is human 
so it refers to the skill workers working in the organization the second word is resource it refers to something that one uses to achieve an objective of the organization example raw material personal the availability of which is limited and scarce as we all have studied in economics that the resources they are limited and scarce the third term that is management it means planning organizing staffing directing and controlling of various business activities everybody is familiar with the word management so basically you can see the term human resource management it is a combination of these three words and i have told you the individual meaning of these words now the next thing that is nature of human resource management the first one is integral part of management so human resource management is inherent in managing it is an inter integral part of the job of manager every manager is concerned with the performance of personal functions such as training communication appraisal and guidance if a manager is weak in dealing with people he cannot achieve the goals of the organization thus every manager must possess human relations skill to get maximum cooperation of the workers so it is saying that this hrm it is an internal part of management the person the hr manager must have good personal skills because in hrm the function of hrm that is to motivate the employees that is to train the employees if the manager is having poor people skills then how he will motivate the employees so to motivate the employees to um with to motivate the employees to train the employees to develop the employees the manager must possess good communication skills or you can say good human relation skills the second function of this sorry the second nature or of hrm is it is pervasive pervasive means everywhere so it means hrm is everywhere development of hrm covers all levels and all categories of people and management and operational staff no discrimination is made between any level or categories all those who are managers have to perform hrm it is a pervasive also because it is required in every department of the organization all kinds of organization profit or non profit making have to follow hrm so it is saying that hrm is pervasive it means hrm is everywhere it from top to bottom level at the function of hrm is performed everywhere hrm function is performed in all kind of organization whether it is a profit making or non profit making or you can say whether it is a sole sole proprietorship it is a partnership it is a company so everywhere the function of hrm is performed even in an organization in every department like in finance department in marketing department in sales department in every department the function of hrm is performed that's why hrm is pervasive in nature the third one that is people oriented it is concerned with all kind of personal from top to bottom of the organization so as i already told you that this Fun the function of HRM it is performed from top to bottom, whether it is the top level or it is the bottom level. Everywhere you can see the function of HRM. Now the fourth one that is personal functions. It involves various functions concerned with managing people from manpower planning, recruitment, selection, placement, training, appraisal. 
to compensation of employees so it is saying that in hrm there are various personal functions performed by an hr manager like he has to firstly manage the people manpower planning means he has to decide that for a particular task how many people how much manpower is required are we having that sufficient manpower if not then we will plan we will recruit the new employees after recruitment we will do their selection and after selection placement and if any training is required then training is given to the employees so like this you can see that various personal functions are performed by an hr manager now the fifth one that is continuous process human resource management is a continuous process in the sense that it is in operation from the day an entity comes into existence till the day it winds up it basically takes into account managing human capital of the firm which is which is not one day or one week deal rather it is an ongoing process so yes hrm is a continuing process if you are thinking that one day you will perform this uh, hrm function and after 10 10 days or after one week you will do these functions so it is not uh, possible it is a ongoing process you have to perform the functions of hrm on daily basis now the sixth one that is comprehensive function so managing human resource can never be an exclusive process as it involves all people at work no individual irrespective of his designation salary nature of work is excluded from the periphery of human resource management so it is a comprehensive function it is an it will involve everybody in the organization irrespective of their designation or salary now scope of hrm so the scope of hrm that is very wider hrm scope covers personal aspect welfare aspect and industrial relation aspect firstly let's see the personal aspect so from personal aspects point of view the scope of hrm that is demand and supply like for example if any task or any project is given so the hrm will see what is the demand of the employees and are we having the sufficient what is the supply of the employees are we having the sufficient manpower or not if there is any shortage of manpower we are not having that much manpower so hrm will make sure that it will further move to manpower planning then after manpower planning recruitment recruitment means attracting more and more people to apply for a particular job if people will apply for that job then hrm the function of hrm is to select the best possible candidate for that particular job after selecting the person then hrm will do the placement if any transfer is required then the function of hrm that is to perform transfer then promotion because promotion is also very important as promoting the employees will motivate them if any training is required so hrm will make sure that the employees get proper training and development layoff and remuneration incentives etc so all these comes under the personal aspects of hrm now the next one is welfare aspect so from welfare aspects point of view hrm scope is working conditions and amenities such as medical assistance education canteens crunch rest and lunch rooms housing transport health and safety recreation facilities etc 
सो एच आर एम जल एच आर एम विल लुक आफ्टर द वेलफेयर आस्पेक्ट ऑफ द एम्प्लॉयज ऑल्सो इट विल मेक श्योर दैट द एम्प्लॉयज गेट अ गुड वर्किंग एनवायरमेंट द एम्प्लॉयज शुड गेट प्रॉपर मेडिकल असिस्टेंस देर शुड बी एजुकेशन फैसिलिटी टू द एम्प्लॉयज कैंटीन शुड बी देअ प्रॉपर रेस्ट एंड लंच रूम शुड बी देअ If the employees require any transportation facility, so HRM will make sure that a transport facility is provided to the employees. Health and safety, everything is uh, taken care of the employees. Because if the organization will not look after these factors, they won't be able to provide a good working. Uh, environment to their employees and ultimately you can see that if the employees will be demotivated because they are not getting a good working environment so just to motivate the employees the organization must look after the welfare aspect of the employees now the next one that is industrial relation aspect so from industrial relation aspect hrm has the various scope like grievances in organization we can see that there are many a times grievances among the employees or there are grievances among the employees and the top level so it is the duty of the hr manager to the, settle these disputes then union management relations so hrm has to make sure to properly manage the union relations then joint consultation and if any collective bargaining is required so all these uh, and even disciplinary procedures so hrm will make sure that all these disciplinary procedures should be followed so here we can see that the scope of hrm is very wide like personal aspect welfare aspect and industrial relation aspect now the next one that is importance of hrm why we are uh, performing the hrm function why it is important so the importance of hrm function is as like the first one that is recruitment and training it is one of the major responsibilities of the human resource team the hr manager come up with plans and strategies for hiring the right kind of people they design the criteria which is best suited for a specific job description their other tasks related to recruitment include form formulating the obligations of an employee and the scope of task assigned to him or her based on these two factors the contract of an employee with the company is prepared when needed they also provide training to the employees according to the recruitments of the organization thus the staff members get the opportunity to sharpen their existing skills or develop specialized skills which in turn will help them to take up some new roles so you can see hrm is very important from recruitment and trainings point of view the second importance of hrm is performance appraisals HRM encourages the people working in an organization to work according to their potential and give them and gives them suggestions that can help them to bring about improvements in it. The team communicates with the staff individually from time to time and provides all the necessary information regarding their performances and also defines their respective roles this is beneficial as it enables them to form an outline of their anticipated goals in much clear terms and thereby helps them execute the goals with best possible efforts 
performance appraisals when taken on a regular basis motivate the employees so yes performance appraisals are also very important if you want to motivate your employees then performance appraisals are must because if a person is working in an organization since past two or three years and if no performance appraisal is provided by the company then automatically that employee will be demotivated a thought will come in his mind that i am giving my best i am putting my all the efforts then why my performance is not being appraised what is the importance or why i am performing my task wholeheartedly as the organization is not appraising my performance so yes you can see it is must for the organization to appraise the performance if they want to motivate their employees maintaining work atmosphere it is a vital aspect of hrm because the performance of an individual in an organization is largely driven by the work atmosphere or work culture that prevails at the workplace a good working condition is one of the benefits that the employees can expect from an efficient human resource team a safe clean and healthy environment can bring out the best in an employee a friendly atmosphere gives the staff members job satisfaction as well so yes a good maintaining a good work atmosphere is important for the employees also and for the hr also hr team also if the employees will not get a friendly atmosphere or a good working conditions in the organization so they will get demotivated so they will not work wholeheartedly or they will not give their best so if you want your employees to work wholeheartedly then you must maintain the work atmosphere of your company now the fourth one that is managing disputes in an organization there are several issues on which disputes may arise between the employees and the employers in such a scenario it is the human resource department which acts as a consultant and mediator to sort out those issues in an effective manner they first hear the grievances of the employees then they come up with suitable solutions to sort out in other words they take timely action and prevent things from going out of hands so managing disputes it is also very important for the organization because if there will be disputes or if there will be grievances among the employees or between the employer and the employee then you can see that the employees they will not work uh, or they will not give their best because they will think about that dispute or they they are having grievances among them so they will not put their full efforts so if you want your employees to give their best you must manage the disputes so yes hrm is required in an organization because it helps in managing the disputes and the grievances now the fifth one that is developing public relations the responsibility of establishing good public relation lies with the hrm to a great extent they organize business meetings seminars and various official gatherings on behalf of the company in order to build up relationship with their business sectors sometimes the hr department plays an active role in preparing the business and marketing plans for the organization too now the next one that is objectives of human resource management so the objective of human resource management includes the first one is to procure right type of person at right time and at right job so it is saying that the objective of hrm that is to get the right type or right type of a person it means for example we can see that in an organization 
a marketing manager is required so for filling that marketing manager vacant job position the hr team must hire a person who is expertise in marketing suppose if the hr team is hiring a person from finance background do you think that person will be able to give his best no that person won't be able to give his best as he is not expert in that field so it is saying that right type of person at the right job is required so hrm must the hr team must make sure that they are the person whom they are hiring he must be suitable for that particular job and at the right time they must hire that person the second objective of human resource management it is to ensure effective utilization of human resources so hr team must make sure that they are utilizing their human resources in an effective manner the human resources whenever the task which you are giving to the human resources you must make sure that your human resources are fulfilling or accomplishing that task the third objective of human resource management is to ensure development of human resources as i have already told you earlier that if you want your employees to give their best so you should make sure about their training and development if your employees are not trained or they are not developed if if uh, if some uh, new skills are coming in the market then it is the responsibility of the hr team to make sure that their existing employees are also aware about those skills so hr team will look after the development of the human resources because if the development of human resources will not take place then the employees will be working in their or old or existing style or you can say that they won't be motivated because they are not learning something new so if they are not learning something new so they will get demotivated now the fourth objective of human resource management is to provide right kind of training to increase their productivity so just now i told you that it is the Uh, task or it is the duty of the hr team to provide timely training to their employees because providing training to the employees will help or you can say that it will increase the productivity of the organization because the employees will be aware about the new techniques which are coming in the market the fifth objective is to ensure their welfare needs so hr team has to make sure that they are looking after the welfare of their employees because yes if the welfare needs of the employees are ignored it will lead to the demotivation of the employees and the productivity of the organization will decrease the sixth objective of human resource management is to satisfy them by providing non monetary and monetary benefits so in an organization there are some people who can be motivated by providing them monetary benefits on the other hand there are some employees who are motivated with the help of non monetary benefits because they need some social recognition and some people need finance they need money so they are motivated with the help of monetary benefits so human resource the hr manager has to make sure to identify the employees who will be motivated with the help of monetary benefits and identifying the employees who will be motivated with the help of non monetary benefits and after identifying these employees provide them the necessary benefits the seventh one that is to maintain high morale among the employees 
as if the welfare needs will be taken care of if timely training will be provided to the employees if timely benefits or motivate these monetary and non monetary benefits will be provided good working condition will be provided to the employees then automatically it will rise the it will raise the morale of the employees the last one that is to ensure proper safety measures so if the work if the employees are working in the organization so it is the responsibility of the organization to provide them proper safety means as you can see that in an organization there are very various machines so these machines are operated by the human resources or by the employees only so if there if the uh, hr team has to make sure that proper safety measures are followed to uh, so that no employee is harmed while performing the task so that's all for today thank you